At 11.23 a.m. local time, Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, erupted with extraordinary force, sending shockwaves through Sicily. A pyroclastic surge, a lethal cloud of superheated gas, and volcanic debris tore down the mountainside at 87 miles per hour, carving a path of destruction 2.1 miles long. Within minutes, fine ash blanketed nearby villages in gray powder, roads vanished under volcanic debris, and trees snapped like twigs in the surge's path. The European Space Agency's Sentinel-5P satellite immediately detected something unusual. Sulfur dioxide emissions had spiked 40% higher than any Etna eruption in the past decade. But that wasn't what alarmed scientists most. Monitoring stations observed something unprecedented in the lava flows. Streaks of material glowed with an intensity unlike typical volcanic emissions, an orange-white luminescence that pulsed against the deep red of conventional lava. Thermal cameras captured the anomaly. The wavelengths didn't match anything in their databases. Once conditions allowed, research teams from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology scrambled to collect samples. The initial lab analysis stopped conversations mid-sentence. The material contained trace amounts of iridium and palladium, metals typically found in meteorites, and the deepest mantle plumes not in surface lava flows. Even stranger the ratios were wrong. The composition didn't match any basaltic or andesitic classification on record. This substance defied Mount Etna's 500,000-year chemical signature. Every previous eruption fit within known parameters. Some geochemists now propose that extreme pressure reactions between trapped CO2-rich gases and ancient mantle materials might create compounds never before documented. Others suggest something far more profound, that forces deep beneath Sicily are pulling material from depths volcanoes normally cannot access. But what could reach such depths? Laboratory analysis revealed details that deepened the mystery rather than solving it. The luminescent material showed gamma radiation signatures inconsistent with standard volcanic output. Under ultraviolet light, it fluoresced in patterns that matched no known terrestrial mineral. Heat resistance tests produced unexpected results. While normal lava solidifies at predictable temperatures, this substance remained stable at temperatures that should have transformed it into something else entirely. Microscopic examination showed crystalline structures that seemed impossible given the formation conditions. The microcrystals displayed geometric arrangements typically requiring millions of years of slow cooling deep underground yet they appeared in material ejected during a rapid surface eruption, standard volcanic processes couldn't explain how these formations came to exist. Chemical testing found elements in combinations that natural earth processes don't typically produce. The presence of certain isotope ratios suggested either contamination from extraterrestrial sources or access to mantle materials from depths far below what conventional volcanic plumbing systems reach. Neither explanation fit comfortably with established geological models. Three separate laboratories ran independent analyses to verify the findings. All three returned similar results. The composition was genuine, not a measurement error or contamination. This meant Mount Etna had tapped into something different from its normal magma sources. The question became how and why this happened now after hundreds of thousands of years of predictable behavior. Some researchers pointed to recent seismic data showing unusual tremor patterns beneath the volcano. The tremors suggested movement in magma pathways that hadn't been active in recorded history. Deep scanning revealed chambers and channels connecting at depths previously thought isolated from the main volcanic system. Perhaps Etna was restructuring its internal plumbing, opening routes to material sources it had never accessed before. The implications extended beyond one unusual eruption. If Etna could tap deeper mantle sources, what did that mean for the volcano's future behavior? and what other surprises might be waiting in those unexplored depths beneath Sicily. Mount Etna occupies one of the most geologically complex positions on Earth. The volcano sits directly on the boundary where the African tectonic plate pushes beneath the Eurasian plate. This collision zone creates constant pressure and movement, feeding Etna's almost perpetual activity. But the situation beneath the mountain is far more complicated than a simple subduction zone. New seismic tomography maps created using networks of sensors that detect earthquake waves passing through the Earth revealed an intricate system of magma chambers. Multiple reservoirs exist at different depths, some reaching nearly 20 kilometers below the surface. These chambers connect through a labyrinth of channels and pathways forming what scientists now call a magma superhighway. The complexity doesn't end with multiple chambers. Analysis shows these reservoirs contain different types of molten rock. 
Some hold mantle-derived basalt, the dark fluid lava typical of Etna's normal eruptions. Others contain crustal silic melts, lighter more viscous magma formed from melted continental crust. When these different magma types mix they create volatile combinations prone to explosive behavior. Recent monitoring detected something new in this system. Harmonic tremors, continuous vibrations caused by magma movement, began following patterns never recorded at Etna before. The tremors suggested large-scale circulation within the chamber network, possibly driven by fresh magma input from deep sources. Magnetic field measurements around the volcano showed fluctuations indicating changes in the mineral content of subsurface material. Since April, Etna erupted 14 times, each event displaying characteristics that defied predictions. Craters collapsed without warning. Lava fountains shot higher than previous records. Gas emissions varied wildly in composition from one eruption to the next. The mountain behaved like a system in flux, restructuring itself in real time. Volcanologists studying these patterns coined a new phrase for what they observed. They called it the reawakening of the Titan beneath Sicily. The data suggested Etna wasn't simply going through an active phase. The volcano appeared to be fundamentally changing how it operates. The question everyone wanted answered was whether this change would stabilize or accelerate, and what that mysterious material from the recent eruption revealed about where this transformation might lead. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming journeys. Understanding Etna's potential future requires looking at its catastrophic past. 7,200 years ago, the eastern flank of Mount Etna failed in spectacular fashion. A massive section of the volcano, destabilized by magma pressure and gravitational stress, collapsed into the Ionian Sea. 25 cubic kilometers of rock, an amount difficult to visualize, slid into the water in a matter of minutes. The displacement generated a tsunami that radiated across the Mediterranean. Wave heights reaching tens of meters struck coastlines hundreds of miles away. Evidence of this event appears in geological deposits along the shores of Greece and the eastern Mediterranean. Ancient settlements were swept away. The tsunami ranks among the largest in Mediterranean history. The collapse carved the Valle del Bovi, a massive horseshoe-shaped depression on Etna's eastern side. This scar visible from space still channels modern lava flows. The valley acts as a natural drainage system for eruptions, directing molten rock away from populated areas on other sides of the mountain. Without this feature, Etna's eruptions would threaten different communities than they currently endanger. Recent LiDAR scanning technology which uses laser pulses to create detailed three-dimensional maps revealed disturbing new information about the eastern flank. The scan showed fractures developing along the same geological weak points that failed seven millennia ago. Some of these cracks widened by two inches per year, a rate indicating active deformation and stress accumulation. Ground-based GPS stations mounted around the volcano confirmed the LiDAR findings. The eastern flank moves seaward measurably each year, sliding slowly toward the ocean under its own weight, and pushed by magma pressure from below. While this movement currently proceeds slowly, Geological history shows such processes can accelerate rapidly without warning. Small incremental shifts can suddenly give way to catastrophic failure. Modern population density around Mount Etna far exceeds anything from 7,000 years ago. Millions of people live within the potential impact zone of a flank collapse and resulting tsunami. Coastal cities around the Mediterranean basin would face waves arriving with little warning. The economic and human cost of such an event would be unprecedented in modern history. But could the strange new material erupting from Etna be connected to increased instability? Volcanoes destroy and create in equal measure. Mount Etna's lava flows have buried towns and agricultural land throughout history, yet the same volcanic soil supports some of the most productive vineyards and orchards in Europe. The minerals deposited by eruptions break down over time into nutrient-rich earth that farmers have cultivated for millennia. This dual nature of volcanic systems extends beyond agriculture into the realm of rare materials. Analysis of Etna's normal lava has revealed the presence of valuable minerals. Perovskite, a crystal structure used in next-generation solar cells, appears in certain volcanic rocks from the mountain. Zirconium silicate, essential for ceramic production and nuclear applications, concentrates in some lava flows. These materials form naturally during the cooling and crystallization of molten rock under specific conditions. The mysterious new material adds another dimension to this mineral treasure trove. Its metallic microcrystals display properties that material scientists find fascinating. 
the crystal structure suggests potential applications in high-temperature engineering and electronics. Some researchers speculate the compound might represent an entirely new mineral phase, something that would require official classification and naming according to mineralogical protocols. However, studying this material comes with significant risks. Mount Etna's volcanic gases include toxic compounds like fluorine and hydrochloric acid. These chemicals can corrode equipment and harm researchers even when wearing protective gear. The concentrations increase during active eruptions, making close approach extremely dangerous. Drones equipped with sampling tools have become the primary method for collecting material near active vents. But even robotic systems face challenges from the harsh environment. The final drone footage from the recent eruption showed something that added to the mystery. As the aircraft descended toward the luminescent material flowing from a vent, its camera captured the substance in detail. Then the feed cut out abruptly. The drone never returned. Post-flight analysis of the last transmitted data showed the aircraft experienced a sudden power failure despite full battery charge moments before. The electromagnetic environment near the unusual material may have properties that interfere with electronic systems. This raises practical questions about the nature of what Etna produced. Natural materials generally don't generate electromagnetic fields strong enough to disable drones. The phenomenon suggests unusual electrical or magnetic properties in the substance itself. Some physicists propose that the extreme temperatures and chemical reactions in the material create temporary plasma-like conditions that generate electromagnetic pulses. Others remain baffled by the observations. The central question persists. Does this material represent a gift from deep earth, offering new scientific knowledge and potentially valuable applications? Or does it serve as a warning that volcanic systems can access forces and materials that current understanding barely comprehends? The answer might depend on what scientists discover as they continue analyzing samples and monitoring the volcano's behavior. Mount Etna may have joined an exclusive category of volcanoes that rewrite the rules of geological behavior. Around the world certain volcanic systems display characteristics that challenge conventional understanding of how these features operate. Each rule breaker reveals something unexpected about the planet's internal processes. Niragongo in the Democratic Republic of Congo produces the fastest flowing lava ever recorded. Its molten rock races down slopes at speeds reaching 60 miles per hour, far exceeding the typical pace of lava flows. The extreme fluidity results from unique chemical composition, specifically low silica content that reduces viscosity. Communities near Niragongo face evacuation challenges because the lava moves faster than people can run. Kawa Ijen in Indonesia burns with blue flames that emerge from volcanic vents at night. The eerie glow comes from ignited sulfuric gases rather than molten rock. Miners work in this toxic environment collecting sulfur deposits, enduring conditions that would incapacitate most people within minutes. The blue fire phenomenon occurs at only a handful of locations worldwide, making Kawa Ijen a geological oddity. Olduinyo Lingai in Tanzania erupts black lava, a stark contrast to the red and orange flows seen at most volcanoes. This unique color results from natrocarbonatite composition, a type of magma so rare that Olduinyo Lingai remains the only volcano currently erupting it. The black lava flows almost like water due to extremely low temperatures for molten rock, around 500 degrees Celsius compared to the typical 1000 plus degrees of basaltic lava. When this material cools, it weathers rapidly turning white within days of exposure to air and rain. These exceptional volcanoes share a common thread. Each taps into unusual sources or processes within Earth's mantle. The variations in composition and behavior indicate that the mantle isn't uniform. Instead it contains pockets and layers of different materials, each capable of producing distinct types of volcanic activity when conditions allow them to reach the surface. Etna's recent production of material with meteoritic metal ratios and deep mantle signatures suggests the volcano has accessed one of these unusual sources. The question becomes whether this represents a temporary anomaly or a permanent shift in the mountain's behavior. If Etna continues tapping these deeper sources, it could begin producing eruptions fundamentally different from its historical pattern. The broader implications extend to understanding planetary evolution. Every unusual volcanic material provides clues about processes occurring deep underground. These samples represent the only direct access scientists have to material from the mantle and lower crust. Studying them reveals information about temperatures, pressures and chemical reactions happening miles beneath the surface where direct observation remains impossible. What other secrets might Earth's rule-breaking volcanoes reveal as monitoring technology improves and analysis techniques advance? For now Mount Etna continues its restless activity. 
The summit vent glows day and night, a visible pulse of the geological forces churning beneath Sicily. Monitoring systems track every tremor, every gas emission, every subtle change in the mountain's behavior. Scientists deploy increasingly sophisticated tools to decode the volcano's messages. Drones equipped with thermal cameras map temperature variations across the crater complex. These variations reveal where magma lies closest to the surface and which vents might activate next. Satellite-based radar systems measure ground deformation with millimeter precision, detecting the subtle swelling that indicates magma accumulation beneath the volcano. Spectrometers analyze gas plumes to determine chemical composition and estimate the depth from which gases originated. Each data point adds to the growing picture of what's happening underground. The evidence increasingly points toward major changes in Etna's magmatic system. The unusual material appears connected to these deeper transformations. If the substance truly originates from extreme depth, it indicates that pathways between the deep mantle and surface have opened or widened recently. This process, if confirmed, carries enormous implications for understanding geological time scales. Continental configurations change over millions of years as tectonic plates shift and collide. Mantle plumes rise and fall over comparable periods. But what scientists observe at Etna suggests these processes might undergo rapid changes over decades or centuries rather than eons. The Earth's crust could be transforming in real time, driven by forces that operate faster than classical geology predicted. The monitoring continues around the clock. Research teams work in shifts ensuring no event goes unrecorded. Every piece of data gets archived for future analysis. The scientific community recognizes that Aetna might be providing a rare window into processes normally hidden from observation. Whatever emerges from this volcano in coming months could reshape fundamental understanding of how volcanic systems evolve and what drives their changes. But uncertainty remains the dominant theme. Despite all the monitoring and analysis, scientists cannot predict what Aetna will do next. The volcano might return to its typical pattern of basaltic eruptions or it might continue producing unusual materials that challenge existing classifications. The eastern flank might remain stable for centuries, or it could fail tomorrow generating the catastrophic tsunami that geological evidence shows is possible. The mystery that began with those luminescent orange-white streaks continues deepening rather than resolving. Each answer leads to new questions. Each data point reveals how much remains unknown about the forces shaping this planet. Mount Etna stands as a reminder that Earth keeps secrets, even from advanced scientific investigation. The ground beneath our feet holds surprises waiting to emerge when conditions align in ways that current knowledge cannot fully predict or explain. So the question stands unanswered. Is Mount Etna revealing a new window into Earth's creative processes, showing how the planet forges materials and reshapes continents over vast time spans? Or is the volcano delivering a warning that something far greater stirs in the depths below? something that could alter the Mediterranean region in ways that modern civilization has never experienced. The mystery has only just begun. What do you think? Is Etna revealing a new chapter in Earth's story, or warning us of something much bigger brewing below? Let's talk about it in the comments. If you found this discovery as mind-blowing as we did, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with others who love a good scientific mystery, and subscribe so you don't miss what happens next. And of course, turn on the notification bell, because when Mount Etna speaks again, you'll want to be among the first to know. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.